Morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. It is early, got about an hour ride. We're hitting it solo this morning. It's still windy here. I'm hoping it'll lay a little bit. At least we can hear them on the roost good. But anyway, we're going after them.
just slipped by us right there, that coming. He was in range one time and I just couldn't get turned on him. Alright, so I don't have a clue what I got on video just a minute ago. I'm surely I got some goblin. He was in range when he first popped up over that ridge, but I, I had to swing too far. Golly. And then he was angling away. That was as close as I've gotten so far. Guy gobbled good. His tongue got so windy now. Can't hardly hear, but that was fun. That was close. I've circled around and seen if I can get in front of him. I don't know if I have or if he beat me or what. Sit here a few minutes. Alright, so I guess I didn't get in front of him. Golly, that was a jam. That was fun. Son of a gun gobbled and gobbled. That wind's done got up so bad again. Wasn't just so bad right at daylight. I'm just gonna keep creeping this road and see if I can strike another one up. Sun's coming out anyway. Man, this is fun. These jokers is tough. Not being used to these mountains. I had my camera on my right side on the tripod. And I know I probably didn't get him on there, but I know you heard some goblins. Sound like he was in our lap. I thought he was gonna come right up on, right up in, and he did come right there, but he just had turned a little. And I had swung my gun as far as I could, and I was fixing to hit the camera, so I stopped. And I needed to go just a little more, but <clears throat> let's go see if we can find another. Is all I know to do. sunny. I made it back to this little field, clear and whatever you want to call it. We saw a turkey ease out of it yesterday when we rode by on the side by side. So I think I'm going to just sit here a little while and call and just, I guess, see if I can get lucky. I don't know. It's kind of it's hard to hear one right now. So I hope I can fix that little clip where y'all can see it. Been pointing this way. Windy, I done got cold. Been to eat something. I was thinking about getting up. I'm two miles in and start hunting my way out. And I looked over my shoulder. Big old coyote sneaking up on me. He won't sneak no more. We done let enough of them walk. And he's sitting right there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I had to swing my big my camera up and put it over here. Thank goodness that bush if that bush wouldn't have been there, the bush is probably why y'all can't see him. But if it wouldn't have been there, I wouldn't have got him. But T S S T M, I'm talking about. He ain't even flop. Why couldn't it have been a long beard? and take that TSS to the face. Well, we've had a pretty good morning so far. Called that big gobbler in to, uh, I don't think I got him on video. I was actually looking at that. I know I got the goblin, but I don't know if I can see. Uh, I was looking at that on my camera when this coyote come up to about 15 yards, maybe. Oh, I know the goblin's on there, but anyway, got him up, the turkey up to about 45 yards, 40, 45, probably 45, pushing 50. I had one shot, I had done turned all the way around the tree, was up on a knee, and y'all, I can see now after I looked at the footage, my sling falls in front of the camera. I don't know. I could have took a crack shot, but... 
I just, I don't know. It would have been a rush because he never stopped. And he was coming straight up. If he'd have come straight up then, at one time he was about 20 yards just right over the rig. Maybe hindsight 2020, I learned about these mountains. I need to be able to see down. But I kind of had in mind I wanted him to have to come over and look for me. And he did. But when I when I had that one shot, maybe, it would have been questionable. And it's better not to do it. Even though I'm in Kentucky, I still didn't want to do it. But uh, if he'd have come straight it, behind that tree I was pointed out so long, it had been perfect. But when he got there, he hit that other ridge and went up. So anyway, super hunt. I mean, a lot of goblin cows. Caught him across the mountain I'm talking about. That was awesome. But anyway... Now we got a big old, do a little management, a little predator management while we're in Kentucky that we didn't do last time. So we did this time. Smoked. He couldn't take that TSS all upside that noggin. But anyway, I got about a two mile walk back to the truck. I'm gonna call off these ridges on the way out. See how I feel when I get back. What I got a drink and some nabs with me. I may eat here in a few minutes. And, uh, there's another road that we've been down a little bit when I get back to the truck. If I feel like it, I may hunt a little bit that way. I don't know. I don't know. I want to get a turkey down bad, but we got a coyote anyway. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, y'all made it back to the truck. Well, I still had my chair in here from being at the ball tournament. Been eating me a pack of nabs, a couple of Pringles, finished my drink from this morning and uh see where trinity's at and uh try to make a plan for this afternoon i don't know saw three hens on the well two of them may have been jake's not sure and then saw three turkeys on the way out one of them i know was him one of them long beards and uh, i think my my uh track on my phone said i'd been right at four miles so i'm gonna sit here and cool it a little bit and then make a plan for this evening All right, y'all, so I <clears throat> ate me a little bit. Drove the truck down this road as far as I could go before it starts getting pretty rough. Take me a little hike, do a little calling, see if we can strike one up here in the middle of the day. It's gonna poke along down through here. jacket off and put it in my vest. I came in here about a little over a mile and a half. I ain't far from where I struck that turkey a minute ago, but when I saw his tracks, they was going that way. So I gave him a few minutes. He had plenty of time to come because he was close. I don't know how I got by him, but I'm going to start back that way towards the truck and I'm fixing to call. I didn't call as much as I should have on the way down. If I'd have called, before I got to him, he'd have came right to me probably, but he wasn't going to backtrack, I guess. So, I'm fixing to, they love this box call, this Swamp Boy custom call box call, I mean, he even the, called the coyote up. So, I don't like toting a bunch of calls, but when you, that box call ain't hardly worked at home, but they love it up here in Kentucky, so. I'm going to start easing back towards the truck and I'm going to call a bunch on the way and see if we can strike that bird up. I may wait till I get past where I think he is before I call. Hey y'all, I've been on this mountain about 10 hours today. And about 6 miles later, Jason tired. Whew. Super day today though. 
my hunt this morning you just couldn't ask for no better turkey come down off the other side of the mountain come down right i mean at one time i know he was under 25 yards just right over that lip and he kind of drifted and i had one shot probably 45 he was still walking <clears throat> and too close to another tree to really stop i could have took a crack at him but he was he was going behind a big tree and all he had to do was step out and he got behind and i've had him do it before i don't think he i know he wasn't spooked he just got behind that tree and straight up that little knob or whatever you want to call it he got on went to <clears throat> anyway he gobbled it was super and then we messed around and squawked up a old coyote got that thing out of the way a little management there and then um i guess it was a little after one o'clock i i had seen that gobbler track and then i said i better call and called and i was behind him he hit it three times but he had somewhere to go on his mind he wasn't gonna backtrack and then i heard one at about three o'clock i guess it was <clears throat> and i ain't figured out where it was a long way and the wind would never lay for him to hear it again but i'm talking about a super day you couldn't ask for no better day in the turkey woods to me i love these mountains they may be kicking my butt and i may leave without a turkey but i have had let's see the morning what would that first afternoon was uh let me see how my hunts are running together and ain't been here but a couple of days but that first afternoon was as good a hunt as you can ask for and i didn't even lay eyes on him but they did and uh yesterday was a pretty long day we didn't really get into well we heard that one wind just crazy yesterday it was cold today but the wind laid just a little bit off and on enough to where you could hunt and hear one yesterday we ended up hearing two or three but they wouldn't do right wouldn't do nothing actually but today that turkey was working i got one more morning and i don't need to be here long i got to get to the house <clears throat> so tomorrow is gonna be my last last day to hunt this year most likely i hate to see it end and i'd love to see it end on one flopping but if it don't we've had a super year and a seen a lot of new territory and had a good time met some pretty some nice people last time and met met a nice super nice guy this this guy's place i'm hunting i mean it was he gave me a key and uh said get after it so i'm hoping they both get to go back with me tomorrow my last morning i'd love to get one and share it with them or one uh, i don't care who gets it don't matter to me but uh had a super time so far but i might check a field before dark i don't know it takes me about an hour to get back to trinity's place and these i really don't want to hit these roads at night uh, i like riding and looking y'all know that i do a lot of that when i go out of town in the evening turkey hunting sometime but uh yeah that's what i'm finna do i'm finna ease out of here only i hadn't even talked to them i sent them a, a picture of that old wily coyote this morning and uh I gotta get out and check on them, see what they got going on, and I'm gonna get me another good night's sleep tonight, like I did last night. Feel good today, a little sore, but had a good day. Six miles a long way on this back, but anyway, uh, it's nice to get to the top of the mountain and be able to, I, I mean, there's some hills and I never really got far off the road. I mean, this morning, uh, I wasn't, shoot, I wasn't 15 yards off the main road there and it was just perfect perfect god it was fun had two hunts since i've been here that was as good as you can get without getting i don't know if i mean if you'd have got him it'd have made it better but if i would have got one the very first afternoon i wouldn't have had this hunt today so if we're gonna get one this year tomorrow be the day and what a hunt it'll be to have two hunts like we've had and a coyote and then carry one home so that's best case scenario but like i said if we don't i definitely will come back i love it up here golly i love it up here but anyway i'm finna sneak out of here appreciate y'all watching out of here